Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tawana and I am a sticker stationery shop owner. Um, and today I am going to be working on organizing my notepads. Um, I just want to get ahead of the game and be a little more prepared as far as processing orders. So I'm going to be putting the wraps on these as well as including uh, the sets that have the kit, the stickers with them. Okay, now that I have them all laid out, I'm going to stamp the back of them. I got my stamp from noissue.co. Um, so, I'm 50-50 on the stamp now after using it for a while. I'm really thinking about getting an embosser just because, you know, the stamp doesn't always go through or there might be excess ink, which can be a little bit frustrating. someone asked me if I could put the deep condition on its own sticker sheet and I was like sure why not um, it is on the wash day sticker sheet which I'm pulling up right now um, as you can see right there the small uh, deep condition and now it is on its own sticker sheet and I also have the bigger ones at the bottom the I really like the bigger ones at the bottom. So yeah. Okay, so I am working on um, this Fitness Gal sticker sheet. And she used to be a printable, but um, what I found in my shop, and I no longer have printables in my shop because people weren't realizing they were printables, even though they said on them that they were digital downloads. Um, so now I'm finally turning her into a physical sticker sheet. I'm going to offer three different skin tones. So I've decided to just go with all of the brunettes. So there's that one. Hold on. Yeah, so there's this one and her. I'm not going to do the blonde, but I am going to go with the brunette. So I'm going to set up this sticker sheet. It's going to be two pages. There's going to be um, one with just the divas and then all this other stuff. Baby, 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 baby. You driving me wild. You driving me so crazy. Got me acting out. Got me trying to stay sober. Me trying to stay sober. One of your love and I'm out here hungover. I take you to London, Paris Times we're cherished No comparing to you Don't need Keisha Karen Begging, sharing Girl, I swear that It ain't fair, it ain't fair that Came 
up with and um i am not sure about these tiny ones right here i don't know how well they're gonna print so i'm gonna do a test print just to make sure i guess it's worth it okay so it doesn't look too bad um, so i'm gonna put this on the silhouette and see how it cuts if you ask me you got the trip chocolate factory all of these chicks coming at me but none of these girls can be I fulfill these orders let's reflect on my first black friday um it was interesting and i will say stressful i did not set myself up properly and i mean i knew this going into it because i was working up until the 11th hour but once i was done i was feeling like snoop dogg where he was thanking himself um during his ceremony i want to thank me for believing in me i want to thank me for for never quit i will say that it was probably a bad idea on my part to do back-to-back -back sales um the friday prior to black friday i did my diva sale which was exclusive to my newsletter and with having to get those orders out as well as me designing up until the 11th hour for Black Friday, um, I added more stress on myself that was not necessary. So if I could do it over again, I probably would not have done the diva sale, but it's also a weird time right now. Um, and so a lot of people were ordering online and I was really worried with USPS you know struggling to get all of these orders out that you know would it make it in time for christmas so i wanted people to have a chance to get their orders in time for christmas um but yeah next year i probably will or not next year this year i probably will not do back-to-back -back sales um i will say i needed to have the stock ready to go but because I'm working on so many things and I'm the only employee for this company um, that messed me up there as well so I will not be doing that again I will definitely have my stock ready to go and because I didn't have my stock ready to go um, I essentially lost half of December because I had to close the shop so I wasn't getting more orders coming in so that I could fulfill the orders from Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Um, so that's something I would also rectify for this year. Um, but overall, I did a great job. I mean, it was a very successful sale month. Um, and what I made during that month also makes up for what I missed in December. Um, but that's something to keep in mind for the upcoming year. And then, you know, I have my goals for 2021. Now that I have a better idea of how I want to run this sticker shop, this is the first, or 2020 was the first year of me actually running a sticker shop. And, um, you know, it's just a happy coincidence, accident that it all worked out and, I'm very grateful that people enjoy my work um, and you know I can't wait to grow here in 2021 and continue to expand my product line um, so yeah thank you so much for watching and till next time <laughs>